Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, I had to immediately drop all of my stuff off <laughs> when I became over-encumbered quite a bit. So now I'm going back into Raven Rock Mine simply to tell him that we have now gotten towards where the remains were, and we got the sword and all that, and we're going to give that to him probably. If not, then... We'll sell it off, because I have no need for that sword, really. Anyway, that taken care of, more or less. We'll go on with the main quest in Solstheim, which is to find the Temple of Mirak, which will be after we get all this shit done. Because I kind of want to get it done now, to be perfectly honest. And where is he at? I have no idea where he's at. Where'd he go? Uh... Um, where'd he go? Where'd he go? What the fuck? Um, I know I didn't complete the thing, so where did he go? Oh, boy. This is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Please tell me I didn't just bug the thing. That would not be great. Also, the lighting on that child is terrible. Good gods. Uh. It's like they had to overexpose literally everything. God, it's like fucking Bioshock children. Jeez. It's not great. It does not look good. Although, Bioshock children look bad for a different reason. <laughs> That's about it, really. Anyway. Where is... Those two. Whoa, why was he running? That's a good question. One that I apparently can't answer right now. But, not particularly right now. I'm trying to find the guy who I need to talk to. And I think he might be in here. I think this might be, maybe, yeah, the K. Aurelius. The K. Aurelius. Uh, K. Aurelius. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I think it's K. Aurelius. It's either Karelius or Karelius. It's one of those Can I two. help you? Well, yeah. Well, your husband You're can. Back. Yes. Please, tell me what you found. What did I find? I found that you were right all along. Let me see that. Huh. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Gratian's death wasn't because of a rock fall. It was just a story to keep people away from the tombs. Yeah. Now that I have his journal in hand, I can get some closure from the East Empire Company. There Make you go. Make them pay for lying to everyone. Which is a good thing to do. Good luck with that. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I believe I owe you a little more than a debt of gratitude for all that work you did. Eh. Yeah, it's not much, it's but it's the best trouble, an really. old retired miner can do. Fair enough. But, uh, that is substantial. Okay, uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, are there any other Imperials in Raven Rock? Those cowards left decades ago. Every single damned one of them. Okay. The moment the ebony mine dried up, they pulled up stakes. Ridiculous. Well, you know. Ridiculous why? Solstheim is still rich in ebony ore. I know there's more down there. I can smell it. Really? I come from three generations of miners, and I'm telling you that the East Empire Company was wrong. Already? They just didn't want to spend the coin trying to find it. Maybe. I'll, uh... Mark my words. Raven Rock isn't finished yet. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. I think that does about that. Pretty much. That pretty much does that. I mean, close enough. Um, is there a thing I can talk about? Make way. Uh, make way for what? I was around you and there's plenty of room. Shut the fuck up. Alright. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure there's someone I can talk to about helping out this place a little more. I'm pretty sure. I want to say. But I'm probably wrong, because I usually am. Okay. Morvean Manor. Which is like the big old mayor house, pretty much. So. If I talk around here, maybe I'll find out something. Maybe. You lost. No. But you were about to say something, and then I stopped you, apparently. You brought Raven Rock back from the Brink, Traveler. Did I? I don't know how to thank you. That's good. I'm glad I was able to do that for you. 
Counselor, I'm afraid there's been another Ash Spawn attack at the Bulwark. Oh, no. As if we didn't have enough to contend with already. How many did we lose this time? Fortunately, none. Good. Captain Veleth was able to drive them off almost single-handedly. That is very good. I don't know what we'd do without him. Send him my thanks. You should. Anyway, uh, Adrian. My apologies for doubting you, Sayo. May I have a word? Well, I'm glad that you don't doubt me anymore. How are things now that the mines are open again? Which I don't remember actually explicitly doing. But I guess I kind of did? You might think it's all perfume and roses now that the mine's open. But all I see is a new security problem on our hands. Really? Making sure those shipments of ebony make it safely from the mine to the shipping docks is my new order of the day. Well, it's not that long trip. And with Solstein crawling with reavers and Azora knows what else, I can't risk any attacks on Ravenrock. I can't blame you. So, now that is nice to know. I appreciate the help you've been giving us. You're welcome. I want to talk to your uh, main guy Your contributions guy here. have earned you citizenship here, friend. Really? I'll always consider you one of us. That is nice. The Redoran Council tasked me with keeping Leryl alive. Oh, okay. I've done with that question for over a hundred years. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to listen to two different things over here. Well, thing I've had to our brother. We all owe him our lives. Am I too suddenly... Everyone's talking at once. I'm sorry, my love. It's this island. It's never felt the same since we left Vardenfell. It's as though a part of me is missing. Every Dunmer left a piece of themselves behind when they departed our homeland. Yeah. All we can do is make the most of what we have. Which is true of most refugees nowadays. Anyway. Uh, I wanted to talk to you if I can Second Counselor keep things to be going. Can assist you with anything you might need. Uh, do you rule all of Solstheim? Solstheim is theoretically under my rule, but without revenue from the mine, I lack the resources to actually govern anything but Ravenrock itself. Fair enough. Not that there's much beyond the confines of our town anyway. Seems kind of rude. Ravenrock is the only settlement on the island. Well, there's a small enclave of Nords to the north in Skull Village. They pretty much keep to themselves, and we both like it that way. Fair enough. Then there's Telmithrin to the east. Mm -hmm. The Telvani live out there. Sort of a strange lot. But since we're both from Morrowind, we get along. Fair enough. Other than that, Solstheim is crawling with bandits and reeklings. Huh. But that's to be expected living in a frontier like this. That's true. Uh, how are things now that the mines are open again? With the mines open? Raven Rock has become a significant colony of the Dunmer people again. Good. I've been able to convince my superiors at House Redoran to send me the resources that they've been denying, now that we're deemed more important. Good. Soon, we'll have a steady supply of workers and materials to keep things going for years to come. That is very good. I thought there would be more for that, but apparently not, so we'll just get out of here. For now, and apparently they were going to repeat the same conversation over again, and I didn't want any part of that, so just fuck it. Those are ugly motherfuckers. Ever seen a Redoran guard before? I wasn't even looking at you, Your motherfucker! Contributions have earned you citizenship here, friend. What did you I always consider you one of us? Why did you come out of there? That was weird. Oh okay. I guess. It's weird things, but whatever. Um, yeah, I thought there was more I could do, but I guess not. Alright, well, fuck me. I'm gonna go straight for, uh, those few quests on the way to the thing. Uh, first, March of the Dead, but I kinda need to get rid of more of my stuff first, and I still have quite a bit. <laughs> the Blood Skull Blade is now weighing me down, but it's not as heavy as, you know, you would expect. Releases energy blasts with power attacks that deal 30 damage. Which is kind of piddly compared to the damage that the sword on its own gets. But, uh, let's see if I can actually do anything with it. That's, mm. That'd be kind of curious. Always a pleasure to watch when a man I can! But it requires silver ingots and doesn't get it fully done. I could have sworn I got this upgraded already. I guess I missed that. It gets lonely out here, you know. On this remote... <laughs> Okay, well, I get you flirting with me and all that, but I fucking 
You you are all so close together. I end up no, running into everything. 19 conversations. Jesus. Yeah. That is so disturbing. It's annoying to me in particular. Mainly because I'm not a talkative person that often in real life. If I do, it's mainly complaining. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Just at least get a marker outside of the town here. Alright, there we go. Good stuff. I will need to upgrade the sword because apparently I missed that. But, uh, huh. I could have sworn I heard something. Guess not. There's something up there. That's a thing. I'll eventually look into that when I get up there. But, for the time being, it's going to be a bit of walking around. Oh. Oh, yeah, this guy's dead. And there's some of this. Elven bow and sword. That would just weigh me down instantly, so I'm not going to pick those up. Just looking at... Yeah, he's got the pauldron set, which is pretty good. What the, what the hell is that sound? What the hell is that sound? Uh... Is that an enemy, or...? I don't know if it's an enemy or just ambient. Ambience. Ambience. Whatever the fuck. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> That's what that is. I'm tired. Uh, I guess we'll just push onward then. It's a little bit further. Whoops, that's not the button I wanted. I wanted this button. There we go. Perfect. But, oh. Oh, Ash Hopper, huh? Well, uh, do I have my thing on? Yes, I do. There we go. And dead. Nice. Although, I'm surprised it worked as well as it did, considering most of the things around here are resistant to fire. Anyhow, a hash hopper jelly would restore health. That's very good. That, I wonder if you can cook the ash hopper legs. I wonder. I'll just take that, just because I want to know. God damn it. Uh, dicks. What do I got? What do I got to get rid of this? Why do I still have a potion of blood in my inventory? I just want to drop that somewhere. Like, my house. Somewhere. Uh, so we'll husk es extract. Uh, bitter, bitter, bitter. I can't speak anymore, apparently. I need to sell off a lot of this stuff I have, and I don't have really a lot of places to do it. I'll have to look into places later. And I'll have to drop this off at home, too. God, I have a lot of stuff I need to do. I just don't do any of it, because I'm an idiot. Um, draw to strength. I could do that. Don't want to, mainly because that's a waste of that. But I could do this. Easily. Easily. And, yeah, that should be good. And once it wears out, I'll still have enough carry weight anyway. So, hey, works out better for both. Regards, what is this? What is this little thing? Uh, ruin covered in ash, which is to be expected considering the entirety of this island is covered in ash. Colbjorn Barrow, which I think is a thing. Whoa! The fuck was that? <laughs> that was weird. That was really fucking weird. Hey there, bud, are you okay? Sarah. Are you okay? Damn it. What am I going to do? Why do you sound like that? That is really weird. What's the matter with you? With me? What's the matter with you? <laughs> Sorry, I, I first. just had a lot of hawk face cowards coming by to mock my efforts. Oh. Uh, it probably can't hurt to tell you. Yeah. You look mostly honest. What do you mean, mostly? The name's Rallis. Rallis Sedaris, out of Morhold. Okay. I've got a financier waiting for me back on the mainland. Okay. Sent me here in the interests of obtaining some rare antiquities. The relics of Azadol. Azadol. But this whole thing became a disaster right quick, let me tell you. Oh, I bet. What happened? You come out of the northern ashlands, you don't expect things to go easy. Oh, yeah. And this was something outside my particular expertise. Really? 
When account. I first got to Kolbjorn, you couldn't even see it. Mm -hmm. Buried in the ash, like most other things on this blasted island. Fair enough, so you got this far. Though. Dug out a pile of the stuff taller than me just to find the barrel. Ah! Who knows how much to reach the door. Okay. Excavating isn't exactly my specialty. Even mm -hmm. if it was, the ash storms fill it in faster than you can think. Fair enough. Why not hire some of the miners out of Raven Rock? Most of them aren't doing anything. You think I've got that kind of money? Huh. No. I only get paid on delivery. Can't afford to go out of pocket for a thousand septums on this. What, you just need a thousand? Takes money to make money, all that rot. Usually, yeah. There's a lot of it at the other end. But I can't get there without a little kick to start it off. Fair enough. I've got some money. Are you looking for a partner? What? Are you... Are you serious? Uh, yeah. Well, I think I could make that work. Okay. We can sort out the details of our little arrangement later. But for now, I'll manage the dig if you can manage the coin. I usually Do you can. have the gold? Well, yeah, usually. <laughs> I usually have a lot more than I should. Hmm. It's all here. Yep. Well then. Looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. Yes, you do. I'll head back to Raven Rock and round up some diggers. Good. Once we've got something worth looking at, I'll send word to you. Sounds Pleasure good. doing business with you, partner. I'll see you soon. The way you say partner really rubs me the wrong way. Uh, Look, this can be a slow business. Yeah. Digging takes time. Come around later and I'll have something more interesting to show. Fair enough. Well, at least you're willing to admit that much. I can't get out. There we go. Jesus, that took forever. All right. Well, now that we know how that's working out, we can head along towards the next thing, which looks to be that fortress over there for uh, that one person. That is a bit of an asshole. All right. Let's get like this so I can see what I'm swinging at. If I have to swing at things... I swear I just saw some magic. I did. Oh. Also, I see some ash hoppers. So, there's that. There's this guy. And there's this guy. And crunch. I didn't even see the body. There it is. Alrighty. That works. Uh, ash hopper jelly. Ash hopper leg. Yeah, that works. Alright. I see some magic over there and I kind of want to see what that's about. So, once I loot the rest of these. Meat. I wonder what I can do with that. Okay. Well, with, it seems the magic stopped. Oh, nope. It's still continuing. Fire wizard. Oh, oh you little shit. How dare you? I didn't want any part of this. Now you made me part of it. Fuck you. Oh, jeez. Okay. Potion. Potion now. Potion right now. There we go. That works. Um, stream healing. No, I don't need that. Uh, healing in general. Yes, that will work. Just use all that up. Perfect. Oh, fuck me. Come on. And down you go. Perfect. You could have left it alone. But no, you didn't. You didn't. Looks like you're Breton and your eyes are still open. That's kind of creepy. Giant lichen. Huh. Let's see what that does. Weakness and shock. Not good. Not good at all. Ow. Oh, great. And now I'm overburdened. Fuck me. Anything I try to do just fucks me over. Almost everything I try to do, actually. I'll take that. There we go. Just take your robes and I'm just gonna casually walk away. I, I don't know how to whistle. <laughs> In case you were wondering why I did that. At least I used to be able to whistle and then after my braces it went away. And now I've never been able to relearn again. So, fuck me, I guess. I swear I just heard something. This fucking ambiance just puts me on edge half the time. Alright. Oh, this is gonna be slow going. Ugh. Damn it. What do I have in the way of... I have a potion of strength. I don't want to use any of these if I can avoid it. Alright, that works. Fort Frostmoth. 
Okay, and this looks to be the fort I have to go through for that uh, Imperial guy. So, uh, yeah. That is a plan, I guess, that I have now. Okay. What the? Oh. That's Ash Spawn. Also, I heard insect. I guess it's not an insect that's dangerous. Okay. It's getting into a boat. And I don't know what it's doing from there. It looks like it's trying to do it, and then it doesn't know how to, so it's getting out. Okay. Well, all that out of the way, I think now that we have Fort Frostmoth marked, Frostmoth marked, that's where English, I'm going to get out of here, head back home into Skyrim, and sell off my shit because I have way too fucking much of it. Wow, that's exuding a lot of darkness. Holy shit. Good lord. Woo, extreme close up. All right. That is really getting close and is really creepy. Yee. Let's back that up a little bit, huh? There we go. Good. Good stuff. That's a little off center as well, I just noticed. And I am still overburdened. Fuck me. Okay. Well, this is where I'm going to end the episode for right now until I get the fuck out of here and, uh, you know, get this stuff out of the way. I should probably mark that so that way when it's done, I'll be able to get to it. Anyhow, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. I slurred over a lot of those words. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and being overburdened over and over again for you.